showing you five yoga poses that we often get wrong. Now here in this video, this will be a part one to our series and then we will have a part two to our series. So make sure you stay tuned because summer is coming so we need to get that summer vibe. Alright, so today here we have Jen and she will be showing us how to do these yoga poses correctly. Hey guys, I'm Jen. Uh, I've been teaching yoga now for close to 10 years. I've been practicing yoga for almost 20 years. I got my TT, which is a teacher training in California, San Francisco, but I traveled to India for six months in search of the meaning of life, and then I came here. So I've been very lucky to be teaching in Taipei, and I am based out of Taipei, and I'm really excited to show you some proper adjustments for some basic poses that we do in yoga. All right, let's get started. Okay. So Jen, what is yoga? That's a great question. Uh, yoga is an Indian almost philosophy. Uh, it's part of an eight limb yoga system, which means uh, asana is one part, but it's really to help enhance your concentration through the movement of your body, the mind through meditation, and also your breath through different pranayama practices. Okay, cool. So what is our first yoga pose, our first asana for today? I'm glad you asked. It's going to be tabletop. All right. You ready? Sure. All right, let's get started. <laughs> so tabletop is one of our standard poses. What you must do is just bring your hands onto the mat and get bring your knees under the hips. Okay, very simple pose where your spine is neutral. So one thing that people often do that is a little bit misaligned is A, you need to spread the fingers. Good. And also people often bring their shoulders towards the center. You want to open your arms a little bit where you see a J in the thumb and index finger, but not too much that's too open of a J. Mm -hmm. And then you need to bring your knees below the hips, so bring it a little bit forward. Yeah, there you go. And see how it's all even, shoulder and hips. Mm -hmm. And this is called a neutral spine because your spine is not exerting or flexing or anything. Okay, so this is the first pose called tabletop. Cool. Awesome. Now that I've done tabletop, what's the next move that you're going to teach us today? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> We're going to do cat camel, which is very, very good for your spine and people who have discomfort up and down their vertebrae. So what you're going to do is you're going to inhale, curl your tailbone up, Pull the belly down and pull the chest forward. With the belly down, chest forward, shoulders back, shoulders yeah. back. Good. And then exhale, curl the tailbone down and push your hands into the mat. Very good. Very important thing to remember is to relax your neck. But keeping your hands passive, pushing your palms into the mat, feeling the balls of the hand pushing into the mat and relaxing the neck as you push the two shoulder blades away from the vertebrae. Very good. Yes. And you just breathe. And the next inhale, good. Inhale, good. Curl the tailbone up. And then exhale, good. And you can just keep doing this until your heart is content. Usually we do about five to seven reps. Inhale, exhale. Wow. <laughs> should feel good. I'm actually getting really, like, Sorry, tired. Push it, push it up. We haven't done anything. <laughs> Keep pushing up here. There. Do you feel that? Yeah. Yes. This is perfect. Active hands, pushing up. Good. All right. Awesome. One, one more. And exhale. So Angela is tired. What do you do? Well, here is a very practical pose that anyone, beginners to advanced practitioners use called the child's pose. And what you do is just bring your hips back onto the heels. You bring your arms forward. And depending on the class that you're taking and the teacher's cues, most likely I will tell the student to relax their elbows and relax their forehead. Yes, so this is one way. Okay, your arms are open, chip, shoulder width apart, elbows relaxed. A second variation for those, if you're doing a lot of arm and shoulder upper body work, you can bring your palms up towards your calves and your legs and you can relax the shoulders. 
and just breathe into the hips and just let it sink and you can really feel the breath on the top of your thighs. All right, so the next pose we're gonna do is called the balancing tabletop. Okay, and so it's the same thing, Angela. We go back into tabletop pose. Good. So the shoulders are over the wrist, knees below the hips, bring it a little bit more forward. Good. Good, so this one, we call it balancing because we're gonna use opposite sides. So what you're gonna do is inhale, bring the right knee a little bit off the mat. Good, and start to kick the foot back, pushing out with the heel. Flex the toes towards the face, good. Towards the face, yeah. Good, so as you see, her lower back is kind of caving in a little bit. So what we want to do is pull the belly in a little. Okay, that protects the lower back. Okay, so they call it balancing because now you're going to extend the left arm forward. Beautiful. Good. So I want you to really feel the upper the, or the bottom shoulder blade reaching out. Good. From the fingertips and then from the hips, the pelvis, the front, the inner, and the side. Just really feel the leg getting long. Excellent. On the next breath, exhale, knee to elbow in the center of the body. You can bring your hand into a fist. Good, inhale back. Two more, exhale, pull the belly in. Excellent, and last one. Exhale, very nice. Inhale back, good. Drop the right knee down, left hand down. In between, you can kind of shake the hips left and right. Kind of shake out the hips. Yeah, good. And then you just repeat on this other side. Awesome! Oh, that was a long 30 minute session. It's been three and a half minutes, okay? <laughs> All right, make sure you watch out for our part two yoga pose series with Jen. And I'm so tired, I'm going to go take a rest now. See you in my next video. Make sure you hit the like button once and the dislike button twice.